Icilians, long time no see, how are you doing? Um, today is a special day for Paul and I, which is right there. You guys haven't seen him for a long time. And we've got Jonas in the background. Hey! He's a pro school writer now, so we're going to check <laughs> out some videos on Instagram. I'm gonna leave his Instagram down in the description, check him out. Anyways, have you seen this little shelf I put up? Got some fan art there, one from Erasmus, the middle one, and the other one is got from Marvin from Germany. Anyways, Paul and I are gonna be parting with a dear friend today, that's Paul. Say hello, Paul. People still know that we are alive. <laughs> um, I need to flop the screen now because I keep looking at it. But anyways, we are heading out now. We're going to my parents now to drop off Sally, our little puppy baby. And then we are going to another town to drop off Jonas there. And then we're gonna be making a new friend. I'm heading out now and um, I'll show you in a minute what I'm talking about. Alrighty, so we are outside now as you can see and the weather sucks, it's really bad. But the dear old friend we're gonna say goodbye to now is our old car. We had it for seven years and she's been very reliable. A few minor repair jobs, um, but it's a 17 year old car. It's a Citroen Berlingo, I can show you from outside. That's the old banger. Yeah, look at Sally in the back. <laughs> Through the last three years, Paul has been going through a lot of medical exams and stuff. He has a very bad back. He had two major operations on it to try and ease some pain and stuff, but it hasn't worked. So he's on very high uh, painkilling medicine every single day, which is annoying. But um, the surgeons have said they can't do any more now. And due to Paul's bad back and can't walk very far and all that, um, so we have been granted, or Paul has been granted, a mobility car, which means we're going to get a brand new car today. And uh, we're getting up heading in now. It's a bit sad it's rainy because it would have been nice having a nice sunny day. But um, anyways, we're going to go and get the car within the next half an hour, 45 minutes. Because the car is ready for us to pick up. So we're going to say goodbye to this old girl. And uh, yeah, we're going to miss something with her. Like, we have like seven years of history with it. Done a lot of things in seven years. But um, yeah, now we're going to get a new car. We're hopefully going to have a lot more fun adventures with um, this is just a vlog to film that we're gonna get the new car today. I'm not gonna start daily vlogging again, don't worry, or don't look forward to it if that's what you hope. But um, yeah, we definitely are doing a vlog today. So this is it, we just dropped Jonas off, and I've been driving here. There's only a short distance to the, um, it's gonna take five minutes, and we are at the car dealer show where we're gonna get our new car. Um, but this has been a really good car for those seven years. A few minor, um, repair jobs on it because it is a 17 year old car um, the stereo we had in before we had traded with Jonas' mum because this is a very old stereo and our, ours had like um, USB charger and could play um, different the files and stuff like that so she got that so yeah um, you got anything to say about the car? no not really it's just it's been it's been a good car it's got us around a bit but it's now starting to show its age you know there's uh, one problem after another but as Mike said, it is 17 years old, so bye bye Berlingo. Yeah, so um, now we're heading over to the dealership, we just need to put a little... Sachet away. Sachet away from RuPaul's Drag <laughs> Race. <laughs> we're going to put a little bit of fuel in this because we don't want to like part the car with the light glowing, um, which means we need more fuel, but um, there's plenty of us to get to the dealership. We're just going to put like a five five pound or like six, seven dollars in just to get it going for the people because they have to drive it somewhere else. We don't know what they're gonna do with this. I cleaned it completely the other day, so it's actually quite nice and clean in here. Um, but we'll see. So here it is, guys, our new car. We're gonna get the 2017 Suzuki Vitara. It's pretty. <laughs> what a difference, guys, huh? Awesome. Brand new car. Yes. Welcome to our new ride. Brand spanking new 2017 Tsugi Vitara. 28 kilometers. Only on gone 28 kilometers, guys. And, oh my gosh. We never had a new car, any of us. And this is only due to Paul's handicap in his back. Um, that we've been granted having this car, so we got it at a much cheaper price. That's the service they provide when you have a handicap and not having the mobility of an average person with an unproblematic back. But yeah, we got this and it's automatic, 1.6 litre, and it's got Apple CarPlay and all that. You need a cable for that, but that's, it's, it's like a really, really nice car. We had this put in extra where you have a spare room. This is extra and you can pull it here and slide it forward like that. So yeah, 
we got a brand new car. How does it feel? Wonderful. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm like almost shaking, just like unreal. All right, well, we have to go. And sad sadly, it's raining today. Um, we would really like this to be sunny so we could maybe have gone for a little enjoyable ride. Let's try to do that. Yeah, well, it's not the same when it's not sunny, but um, we'll do it another day. But at least now I showed you this that we got a new car. So um, I'll do another video another day when the sun is shining and you guys can see us um, enjoying the car in the sun and all that. So yeah, new car. So here we are, home again. It's still raining outside. Um, Paul has been driving the car a little bit, and uh, well, he drove it home from where we picked it up to my parents, and I drove it the rest of the day, and it is amazing. I can't believe we have a brand new car, really cool. Um, first time Paul and I both had one, and again, we only had it because of Paul's accident with his back, um, and two unsuccessful, very, very big, serious operations. So all the doctors um, and other Kind of like um, medical, staff. medical staff has like decided that he Paul will not be able to have another operation because he'll end up in a wheelchair, and um, so they have decided that he will need a mobility car. And the only one Paul fitted in because if you see this, me standing next to you, Paul stand next to me. <coughs> Paul is a tall guy, six five, so I'm a short ass, five seven. So he needed a, a big car to fit in, and uh, the council did actually suggest another car for us, but he could, there's no way he could get in there. Yeah, if we use a shoehorn and some lube, he might get in and out, but nonetheless. Um, nonetheless, um, you can't see from here now, but it's parked up there, um, and it's just amazing. We're so happy that we managed to pull through and get this car. Um, if we haven't got it for free, we have to pay, of course, every month, um, but we do not pay the full price of what the car would have been if we were just a normal person went to buy it. Uh, and that's the new laws and all this would not have been going through unless he had been having all these examinations on his back where they figure out, okay, he just needs to have the new car. The other car we had, the Bilingo, poor thing. <laughs> it feels horrible leaving it behind, but the other car was due for an MOT uh, here in um, August. So, and she wouldn't have made it through, or that wouldn't have made it through. Um, I don't know why it is we call cars for she. I just guess it's something we do. But that wouldn't have made it through. The only downside right now with this one here is much taller. Um, and we have to make another bed for Sally because she can't, re the, the bed she uses now is taking a lot of space. Um, and it's, the car is much taller than the other one. So we definitely have to, um, we have ordered a ramp for her so she can walk up and down herself. But as of now, I have to lift her in and out. But that's a small price to pay, and hopefully within next week we'll get the ramp. So, yeah. So this is a little story about the new car. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the little vlog. Have you got anything to say, Paul, to the vlog, or the people are watching? Other than uh, the new car is lovely, no, though. Not really. No. Well, it's lovely having a new car. Oh, yes. Very so, much so. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, but I'll catch you guys some other time. I won't say tomorrow as I did when I did my daily vlogs, because I won't be catching you tomorrow. Um, I don't know what plans are tomorrow, but the forecast is more rain like this outside now. It's not very good. Blech. So, anyways, look after yourself, guys. It was nice checking in with you again. And to make this video, it wasn't I wasn't going to make this video for bragging and showing off that we're getting a new car. It was just the fact that we actually got a new car. And it's nice, um, and it's not. It's, I'm, not, I'm not making it for bragging because then a lot of other people out there can have much more expensive cars than this one here. This one is a quite Nice but standard car, but anyways, for us it's a limousine and we love it. Alright, I'll catch you guys later. Look after yourself. Peace! Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and throw a like on the video. That'd be nice. See you guys!